Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're gonna to be reviewing how to change the master code for your IQ Panel 4. Uh, so the master code is also known as the arming code. It's essentially what you wanna to use to arm and disarm the system if you're the main user. You can also set up secondary user codes for the system, but today we're just gonna focus on the master code. All right, so we have our uh, IQ Panel 4 here, and there's a few ways that you can change the master code. I'm gonna show you a couple of them here and then just speak about another way as well. Uh, so as always, you're gonna to wanna to go to the top settings, into the settings option there. We're gonna to go to advanced settings. Enter user code. So now we have a couple options. Uh, you can use the installer code, the dealer code, or the master code to change the master code for the system. So just real quick, we're gonna use the installer code 1111. That's the default code that comes with the system. You're gonna see right here we have user management and then admin is gonna be the master code. You see the type right there, it says master. So you can go in there, you can change the name for that, you can change the code and then you wanna confirm the code as well just to make sure it saves. So let's back out of there real quick. Go back into Enter advanced settings. Uh, back into advanced settings and now we're gonna use the master code so default master code for this panel is one, two, three, four. As you see, we are in, a, in another menu here. It's a little bit similar. We have some options missing, but we still have the user management. And again, pretty similar layout. Uh, before you saw that you can change the installer code with the installer code. When you're using the master code to enter into this, you're not gonna have that, uh, that one option there. So again, admin is our type master. Uh, let's go ahead and set it to four, three. Oops. So you're gonna want to back first, clear that. So four, three, two, one. Next, clear this out. Four, three, two, one. Next, and we're gonna just keep it as admin. We're not really gonna change that. Uh, let's see here, oh, close the keypad there. We're gonna save this. Okay, perfect. Got a confirmation there. And then let's just test it out real quick. So, Select arm system type. we're gonna set this to arm stay. arm stay. Now you see it automatically arms without the code. You can go in there and change that setting. Uh, so if you would like to enter your code when arming, you can go into the programming and set the system to ask for that code. Uh, but right now we're just gonna use that master code to disarm. Four, three, two, one. System is now disarmed. Perfect, our code saved, we got the confirmation before, and then testing it out by actually disarming the system uh, is another great way to test as well. So just once again, we're gonna change it back to that default. Enter user code. And we're gonna do four, three, two, one. That's the new code we set. User management, pencil icon to edit. Back this out. One, two, three, four, back to the default. Go there. One, two, three, four. Close keypad, save. We got our confirmation again, and then just to be sure, select arm system type. We're gonna arm it. Arm stay. And disarm it. One, two, three, four. System is now disarmed. And we are disarmed, and we have our master code changed. Okay, so we have changed the master code. We tested it, made sure we can arm and disarm the system with the code, uh, so we know it's saved when we change it, and it's a functional code now. Uh, if you had questions regarding the code or the system, feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. You can also email us. Our email address is support at alarmgrid.com. Uh, if you did like this video, please like it, hit the notification button, and hit the bell icon so you're notified when we release more videos. My name is Dylan from Alarm Grid, and thank you for watching.